Okay, welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to destructure objects in ES2015. Now in the last video, we learned how to destructure this employee array. Now in this video, I'm going to use the same example to help us understand how to destructure objects. So we had the employee array with Chandler being female. So I'm going to start off by converting that into an object. So let employee this is going to be an object. First name is going to be Chandler. And then we'll have last name, which is going to be Bing. And then we'll have gender, which is going to be male. And in the previous video, we learned that we need to use the square brackets and the variables within that to destructure this employee array. Now to destructure this employee object, we need to use curly braces instead of square brackets. So we can have, let me comment this out. We're going to have let within curly braces, we need to specify the variable names. And we have to ensure that the property name is the same as this variable name. So we need to have F name, L name, and gender. And this is going to be equal to employee. Now let's save this and in our browser, we have Chandler, Bing and Mail. So we have destructured this employee object by taking these individual property values and assigning them to the variables. Now let's say our property name is huge. And so we don't want to use such a variable name throughout in our code. For example, let's say this was, this property was 20 characters in length and we have to use that variable multiple times in our code. So in such a case, what we do is we can create an alias. So first name, I'm going to put a colon and F. Last name, I'm going to put a colon and L. Gender, I'm going to put a colon and G. So what we are basically doing is creating an alias for this first name, last name, and gender. But now we cannot use this first name, last name, gender anymore we have to use the alias. So F name is going to be just F, L name just L, and gender just G. So let's save this. And there you go, Chandler, Bing, and Mail. So that's pretty much how you destructure objects. You have an object, and then you use the curly braces and assign it to the object, and each property name should match the variable name, and then the value will get assigned to it. Now, if you want, you can also create an alias for each of these variable names, but you have to make sure that you that you use only these variable names. So console.log f, l, and g. So that's pretty much it about destructuring. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.